What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you real quick what I consider the best method of doing a battery disconnector on your car. Um, this is going to be on the Pontiac Grand Prix back there, not the Dodge. Let's go ahead and... F so, what you'll notice or what you'll see online, forums, whatever, even at the parts store, most people they'll take that blade style switch, you know, and they'll put that under the hood or the big red key or even the knurled uh, green knob, or sometimes they'll even run cables, just massive amounts of cables, you know, into their car, put that big red key switch, and then run the other cable back. Um, which is all fine. It's just, it just looks bad, I guess. And if we're being honest, everybody wants their car to look good, especially even under the hood. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I did, what I think is a clean look. So I have a latching relay, what I believe is to be from an RV. I don't know, it was in my box of junk. I've had it in my toolbox for probably close to six years. But I believe it came from an RV. So what I did was I, I went to the parts store, bought a pigtail. So I have pigtail coming off my positive terminal. So pigtail runs up runs to the left side of the latching relay, and then the other side of the latching relay is my positive cable going all the way down to my starter. So obviously I wanted to kill all sources of 12 volts going from basically the starter into the cabin. Because as you know, your cabin power traditionally taps in onto your starter, you know, right next to your um, feeder cable, which is that going to your starter. Anyway, so I had a parasitic draw. I didn't really drive this car enough. I probably drive it once a week, um, once every two weeks. In the summer, I don't really drive it because it's 10 and a half to one compression and it just gets really hot in the summer. So now that falls here, even though it doesn't feel like it, you saw I'm wearing a cutoff sleeve. It's like almost November. But anyways, since fall is here and winter's approaching, I drive it a lot more. So the need for the whole battery disconnector is not as, dire but anyways in the summer she sits and the battery will die for whatever reason so traditionally i would just pop the hood and spin off my negative terminal i never wanted to do a battery disconnector because if i'm already having to pop the hood and get to the battery just to turn on and off a battery i might as well just undo the stupid lead because that's free putting a disconnector costs money anyways so i was cleaning out my toolbox the other day and I found this latching relay and I found a standard uh, toggle switch but a heavy duty metal toggle switch it doesn't matter it just it just looked cool so I thought of how I could make it work so I did myself a latching relay instead of a standard disconnector so so a latching relay is just your normal run-of-the-mill relay it's just a massive 50 to 100 amp continuous duty relay so like any other relay you supply power ground and then the relay will close or latch right here right up in here those two poles will touch and it'll allow just the 12 volts from this side to the cable to go to that side car operates normally um, so how I have it working is here is the positive side of the um, relay so that is coming from the switch in the cabin and then the power going to the switch is right here it's tapping off of the side that is always hot obviously if I tapped it off if I tried to tap power for the relay off this side or anywhere in the cabin it would never work because it's it's open right now relays open um, so that's basically in a nutshell how it works I did try to neaten up the wires and route them in a little conduit but so so like i said basically you turn the switch on inside the car relay closes you now have power so i'll demonstrate oh. okay so there's my battery switch so i ran those two wires through the dash through here up under to here and it wasn't hard to install because I got these cup holders that decided to rip out so I just shoved my hand 
you know, down up in there and pulled the wires through, wired it up. Um, right now, the battery switch is off, so the relay is open, so, see, nothing. But, if we turn it on, you should be able to hear it and see this light come on. I don't know if you heard that or not. So, let's give her a crank. And, I guess, in a sense, you could do a alternator check. Battery off, alternator's now working. And you can see that since the alternator's not having to supply a load to the battery, uh, the amps went up a little bit. If I turn the battery back on, see, it'll go back down because now it's having to charge the battery. So, battery is on, and that's, I guess, another cool thing, you know, if you're that's what I was worried about. I was worried about if the relay was to fail, you know, and open, you know, what would happen. But obviously, nothing will happen. The alternator powers the entire car. But yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and kill it. Kill the battery. Relay open, and you can see again, nothing. And guys, in my opinion, that is just so easier just to get in my car and flip my switch instead of having to get in the car pop the hood in my case reconnect the battery in most people's cases you know turn the big red key so uh yeah that's uh that's my little thing i came up with i'm sure it's not a thing i'm sure a lot of people have done this but i didn't really see anywhere where people were doing it but yeah, so if you want to do this, get you some wire, get you a pigtail, get you a RV latching relay or anything that's close that can handle the amps, and a toggle switch. And you're going to have yourself a, a fun little battery disconnect and an easy ride.